Welcome back to another episode of Around the Big Ten. Hey, we've got a brand new set, but the same great modest host. As always, I'm Lucy Rodine. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, I know you've probably got a lot of questions for me right now. Like Lucy, where were you last week? Well, I don't know if you saw the Duke North Carolina game. If you didn't, ignore this next part and remember, go Blue Devils. However, if you are one of the poor, unfortunate souls like myself that watched that game, you'll understand when I tell you that I had to take some time off to mend my heart that is as broken as Zion Williamson's shoe. But I will survive, probably. We're just gonna have to see on that one. But what better way to mend my broken heart that college basketball crushed than by talking more college basketball? I'm sure that's totally healthy. All right, no, probably not. So since I need a little bit of a detox, we're gonna talk about some of the outside noise around Iowa basketball. And I'm not talking about the sound of Indiana fans crying thanks to Jordan Bohannon. Two weeks ago, I gave you some tough love Iowa fans and you sorta of, kinda of, somewhat listened. And you know what, I'm gonna take what I can get. So for today's episode, I'm hoping the Iowa Athletics Department will listen better than you guys did. Friday of last week, Learfield Sports announced that Gary Dolphin would be suspended for the remainder of the basketball season, following remarks where he compared Bruno Fernando to King Kong. But you need to hear it from Dolphin. That's some pretty good long range shooting and then Fernando uh, was King Kong at the end of the game. Now could Dolphin have used a better comparison? Yes, he could have. Do I understand why someone would be offended by the comparison? Yes. But my issue with this scandal, or whatever you'd like to call it, is that we have an apology from Dolphin, we have an official statement, but we have no actual human to explain what is going on. All we've got are the endless King Kong jokes I could make and a whole lot of questions. After the game on Friday, Athletics Director Gary Barta dipped out faster than Indiana's defense did. He didn't talk to the me media, he didn't give us any answers, and that's all we want are some answers. When Dolphin was suspended earlier in the season for comments he made about Macy Daly, we got answers. So what's different now? What do we not know? What does the Iowa Athletics Department not want us to know? In saying that, it's not a stretch. Just last year, Barta hid a secret contract extension he gave to Fran McCaffrey. So the point I'm trying to make here is come on, Iowa. Yes, it's important for those who represent the university and the athletic programs to be smart about what they say and do. I understand the appeal of being politically correct, but the level of severity for this comment is undoubtedly questionable. So I can't help but believe there is another side of this story that's being masked by Iowa's decision to ignore the media and send out vague press releases with no signature. Iowa, clearly if I'm having to address this on my Big Ten comedy based show, then obviously you messed up. Come on, don't make it this easy for me to make fun of you and call you out on stupid crap. I'm not asking for a whole lot, Iowa. All I want are some answers. Maybe what we don't know is going to paint Dolphin in a much worse light and Iowa was right to give him the boot. Or maybe what we don't know will make us realize that Dolphin made an honest mistake and there is something else going on. But that's the thing, we don't know. So Iowa, enlighten me. Give us the answers we want so we don't have to draw the conclusions ourselves. And these conclusions we're drawing on our own, they're not very good. Also, Iowa, cater Chick-fil-A for the media. I'm not going to stop bringing it up until you do it. Whether or not you think Dolphin or the Athletics Department are in the wrong, that's something we can all agree on. But before I let you go, obviously, as per every episode, I have to include a shameless plug to get you to follow me on Twitter. So let me know what you think about the Dolphin controversy on Twitter at Lucy Rodine DITV. I promise my tweets are usually just as funny as my jokes, and if you think my jokes aren't funny, well then actually my tweets are nothing like my jokes, so follow me anyways. I promise you'll get some good Iowa content and several Duke basketball tweets mixed in there too. I mean, I don't know what else you could want in a Twitter follow. But that's all I've got for you today. Lately this show has been less like around the Big Ten and more like Lucy tackles problems within the Iowa Athletics Department. But we'll get back to the funny Big Ten basketball jokes next week unless Iowa pulls in Iowa and gives me another reason to rant for four minutes straight. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully laughing along. I'll see you back here on this brand new fancy set next week.